Welcome to News 3. I'm Pari Cruz. Topping our headlines, we're learning more about the shooting that took the lives of three UVA football players and injured two others. The suspected shooter, Christopher Darnell Jones Jr., has left Henrico County Jail and is being transported to Albemarle County. Jones was expected to appear in court this morning, but due to a lack of paperwork, that was delayed. He's now scheduled to appear in court at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Nearly three years ago, Newport News police officer Katie Fine was killed in the line of duty while conducting a traffic stop. Jury selection in the murder trial of the suspect Vernon Gray Green began today. This trial is expected to continue over the next two days. And the Russia-Ukraine war has crossed the NATO boundary for the first time. Officials say a Russian missile barrage on the Ukrainian power grid spilled over into Poland, killing two people and cutting the electricity off to much of Moldova. Officials say leaders are holding an emergency meeting due to a, quote, crisis situation. Now, we don't yet know how NATO will respond, but Article 5 agrees that an attack on one NATO country is an attack on all of its members. President Biden has previously pledged to uphold that article. Now let's get a check of the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Hey, Patrick. Well, hi, Pari. We're dealing with a little bit of rain tonight. We've got a lot of cold on the way. The coldest air of the season is coming. As a matter of fact, next Monday morning, most of us will wake up to temperatures at or below the freezing mark. It has been a while since we've been there. We go all the way back to March 29th since we dropped to around 31 degrees. And you can see even before we get there, we're going to have some chilly morning lows. We're going to wake up to temperatures in the 30s on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then below the freezing mark as we head toward next Monday. Over the next few days, temperatures dropping. Tomorrow's not going to be terribly chilly, but then we're back down into the upper 40s and lower 50s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And there's the chilly weather on Monday morning.